Let's get to our final trade of the day with Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial joining us from Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula. Hello, Angie. Alan, you are clearly the biggest bull who comes on our show. What are your trader thoughts on this market? Well, it should be no surprise, new highs. Couple of current positions to talk about. Morgan Stanley goes off the board on Friday, August 31st. Uh, $48 call. So we've had a bounce back. We're now above 50. So we're getting close to our break even like we talked about. We're looking to salvage what we can out of that MS option. Intel's another play. September 21st, so we've got about three weeks of time, the 45 call. Uh, we did make new two-week highs here yesterday. So we've got some time. Let's see if we can push above 50. And then 52 is the midpoint target to start with. Bank of America was next. Uh, Bank of America, again, is of September 21st. So again, three weeks of time. The $28 calls, we did go up to $31.50 on Monday. Uh, if we can push above that $32 top, then we're looking at $34 and $36 once again. This week, your WPI trade trigger is pointing to chipmaker Micron. Is this stock due for a comeback? Yes, Micron. Micron Momentum. U and MU is for U-turn. This is a stock that had fallen. It got down to $45 and turned around, and we're moving back above $50 one more time. Uh, Micron's been trading mostly between 50 and 60 uh, in June and July, had this little bit of a dip. So let's watch that 55 level, see if we can get push above that midpoint uh, and make another run. Let's remember Micron's down 20% from its top here, uh, but it's still up 20% in 2018 after that, and up amazing 200% in the last two years. Alan, what are your three top trading floor takeaways? Yes, my three takeaways down dollar. We've been waiting for this. Now we had a blow off top in the dollar in the last couple of weeks and we've got it at its lowest level since the 1st of August. So a turn in a dollar is going to be very helpful uh, for a lot of these markets that had stalled out. Number two was the comeback climb. Now with a dollar decline, we've had crude oil bounce $5 off its lows uh, since the middle of the month and gold had a $50 bounce. Lastly, let's talk about six weeks. Earnings season kicks off in mid-October, so we've got a bit of a break, the holiday break, and then a little bit of a pause before we get more fundamental information to drive the markets higher. Thank you, Alan, and safe travels to you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.